Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Now in this week's video, oh my god. I don't even know what to say because you guys keep saying to me, Rowan, Rowan, when are we getting another cooking video? People, let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I do not cook because I like it. I cook to survive. It's a choice I am making. By the way, um, forgive the generator. They're washing my car currently and I have no other time to film this video because I'm gonna be out of the country for some time, which you guys will see those vlogs, which by the time you're watching this, those vlogs should be up right now. So go to my vlog channel Click the link in my bio and check out those two new vlogs, okay? Thank you! Yeah, they're hard to film by myself. So as much as I would like to give you guys so much cooking content, they're hard to film by myself. So. It's just a vibe, vibe. My content legendary. This is quite Perry with all the vibe, vibe. You know I'm a doing it right. Watch any vid that you like for all the vibe. Yeah, yeah, vibes. Click that bell anytime and you will get notified with all the vibe. Yeah, yeah, vibes. So go comment and like and don't forget to subscribe for Strictly Vibes. So, yes, before we get into this week's video, as I said, Check out the links in my description box, okay? There are two new vlogs on my vlog channel. Hope you guys like them. A little bit of Mexico vibes. Yeah. And yeah, I support all the other links in my description box. So as I said, this week, we're making a lasagna for the first time. Let me explain something to you guys. I've never made this before. Do I know how to make it? Yes, I have an idea. For all the persons who've been on my cooking journey, you guys know and understand that um, COVID is the reason why I'm cooking today. It forced me to learn how to cook. So, I mean, I will call my mom or Tanoya or whoever and be like, hey, you know, just to confirm parts of the process, but I've never physically made some of the things before. So I've learned along the way, as much as you guys were watching me, yeah, but I learned. So I've never made this before. I've had it. I have an idea of how to make it. So yeah, let's see what we have here. So as you guys can see here, I have my cheeses. You understand? Parmesan, mozzarella, a hot pepper blend. Okay, and a Mexican blend. I'm gonna literally mix all of those together. I have my seasonings to season up my beef. I'm a, you understand? I'm a stuff them. Yeah, man. Love a good cayenne pepper. I have my oregano. Yeah tomato sauce is right here so this is where it gets a little bit tricky right Be because I wanted to actually like boil my pasta or lasagna or whatever it is um but I saw ones that were open already in the supermarket so I said okay fine let me use that let me make the process a little bit easier for a newbie here so I got ricotta cheese. Not everybody fancies this, so I'm gonna use sour cream instead, which is right over here. I'm gonna use this instead. So the ricotta cheese gotta go. Tonight, you don't really fancy that. I have my onion, my garlic is in the fridge, and I have my beef mince. Okay. Um, over this side now, I have my Pyrex, my fluffy butter covering, my spoon, so you know, mix up the beef and my can open up. So as you can see, I am fully prepared. Now, um, let's get into it. Let's cook up the, let me chop up the seasoning first. Let's do that. Okay, so one important thing I forgot to mention is I had this bright idea that I would take some bad dog sausages, kind of sort of take them out of the little skin and then like mince it up and then put it in the mix of the beef and cook it together. So it would be like a jerk lasagna type of. The bad dog not uh, quick enough. So if it's not uh, quick enough, then it depends it on because it's a little bit over ambitious for me as somebody who has never done this before. But I had the bright idea to do it. So I, I must get some points for that. All right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna put we're gonna do our onion. Oh. Oh, can I 
to share something with you guys. I don't like cooking with actual seasoning. <gasps> like, it's just not my favorite pastime. Um, I rather use the powder. But then, when it comes down to the actual powder now, the powder does steer. I mean, I can't deal with the garlic powder and the onion powder. Like, it just does steer. So it's like, I just completely forget about it. And I don't even know how to dice up them something here properly. Like, that's, that's, that's another thing. Like, I'm just not a chef when it comes to... So it's like... Ooh, like know, it's just too, too much, much work. work. And I feel like for me, once it takes up so much time... So like all the people that the video them, I always just I go... Chop, 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 so anything dice up would just just dice up. And I feel like it's still a little bit too chunky. I feel like this is a little bit wow. Wow. Okay. But try a thing guys. God bless me. God go with me. How am I doing? Two of a garlic left over. So I'm just gonna like dice up them here. I'm gonna forget to teach me the method of how to I want to learn. I'm not want to bad panda panda garlic. Here, so I want to revive. See me here, marvelous. Woo! So now that we got that out the way, I think it's time to. I think I'm gonna bag out my cheese and make my blend. So it is much. <laughs> bag out my cheese, me. We're getting there, people, and we're getting there together. That's that's all that matters. That is the only important thing. All right, so we're gonna get our Parmesan cheese. Oh, I'll mix up the cheese then. A nice little blend of mozzarella cheese. I want it to be like a pork. Side note, I should not be, I should not even be making this or even eating this because for all my sinus girlies out there, you understand the dairy struggle is real. I'm gonna put on some of the dairy. This is a hot pepper blend. You know, I love a good spice. It has Monterey Jack and Cheddar, natural cheese with jalapeno, habanero, chipotle, and ghost peppers. Oh my god. Are we in for a treat with this one? I just wish I didn't develop sinus at such a, at such a tender age of 30. What? Alright. I'm gonna mix around this now. Yeah, man. Everybody get together. Everybody all hands. Everybody greets and one another. Beautiful! So we have our cheese mix ready, guys. How are we feeling? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm the person who's gonna cook and clean along the way because that OCD, okay? That OCD there is real. All right, let's open our traditional Hunt's pasta sauce. Let's do that, guys. Clip and clamp. Okay, no. Okay, clip and clap. Okay. Come on now. I'm gonna ease up this a little bit. Just to ensure it's set. Oh! 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 Okay. Let's just clean that up and move on. So we're gonna move over to the pot. Alright. I'm gonna put a little garlic infused coconut oil. Some nut sticks. Alright. We're gonna wait for that to cool. Not cool. Jesus Rowan, what are you talking about? We're gonna wait for that to eat up a little bit. And then we're gonna show in with mint. You understand? Let me take out this first. I'll put it in a little bowl. I hope this is not too much, you know. But I got to go with the process. Why? Is the Suchis gonna make it? I don't know if the Suchis is gonna make it. So we are, guys. But I just rip it off, so. Why the pata at home, Rowan or Rion? This is very ambitious of you, Rowan. Let's see if we can make, let's see if we can make all this. But it's still tough. You know what? I'm just gonna do them in small slices and cook it down in the beef. And then just put it in a pasta. That never do. But come on, your 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 mean small season. Why? I forgot season while it's in the pot. Why? Pressure. The pot hot. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Pressure. 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 All right. See what we are. I'm not going too bad, guys. 
And I'm gonna put a little bit of oregano in there. Some paprika. You know, some timber should have put this one in one different pot door and not the frying pan. The jerk. Ah, you love. Scrape my onion, them. Yeah. La, but I didn't need more onion. This one look good. Are the onion stingy. Oh my gosh, Joanne. I'm doing what I can, okay? Work with them, please. Ensure that all of the things get cooked and none of it is not raw and all that is seasonal properly. I want to raw mince on my foot. Mince is starting to look like mince. Here's my problem now. The frying pan too little and too much mince. In Jesus' name. See if we can finish cut up the uh, sausage up, dice it. Very, very small. Very small, Rowan. Very small. Alright. I did my best, guys. I did my best. She actually smell good. She smell good. Then let's see if we can get our tomato sauce in the in the mix. In Jesus' name, God bless me. All right. Um, I really hope the the, 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 the mince and the tomato sauce is the same amount of portions to soak up everything. And it's not too much mince. In Jesus' name. Come on, and Gather around, guys. I guess this is one of the moments where you have to say trust the process. Murder! This is a mint soap. She a bubble door. Bubble, you a bubble man, girl. You a bubble man. Just make sure that she properly sees you, you know. Oh, now run now. Now nah, run a raw food joke. Just one story sheer. Just one story sheer. God bless the Rowan. You is a real, is a trying boy. And one thing you're not afraid to go out there and do the things that find your own first and learn from your mistakes. That's really actually, I don't know if I'm on the right path. So if I'm on the right path, so you can't tell me in the comments from now. So, boy, everyone, you're on the right path and the partner looks so bad. Yeah, but we'll see you yeah? Or I so said, Rowan, boy, but still, I trust the process. <laughs> But it not look bad. But as I wait for the um the sausage go and cook down a little bit, a little bit tonight. Coming, I want it to run around. Have a cooking a little bit. I clean up the car while I put the pan lower bubble. I'm gonna set the oven to bake at. I'm gonna do 400, 400 degrees. So I'm gonna make it one warm up from now. I'm gonna go back right to and watch the pot. So we're gonna. What do you mean? I'm gonna season my pot and I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run raw food to walk. I'll leave it overseas. <laughs> Alright, guys, this will look bad. Guys, wanna think? This will look bad. I can't taste it. Yeah, it's oh, I'm sure one man. I'm sure one man. I'm sure I'm going. She kind of rubbed at the wall. But I wonder if because I'm not cooked it all the way, I'm going to wait till I put it in the oven for it cooked for the rest of the way. You know what, come around, put your pan. And I'm going to put a dollop of sour cream in the pot and mix it around. Not too much, just a little bit. Just a dollop. Okay, guys, just a dollop of sour cream. My little pot are just one sickle, you understand? <laughs> You know what I'm do me? The stove is off now. We might not say a hundred, but we might have said like an eighty-nine. We have said some, guys. We have said some. Here we are. So we're at our oven ready lasagna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of non-stick, non-stick olive oil onto the pan. Why we need a little bit dwarf? We're really outrageous. When me sell a little bit, I'm so outrageous for this. And then, hold on. Oh, then we use a bigger pyrex, guys. Wanna think? I'm wondering if I should use a bigger pyrex. Wanna think if we use a pyrex here? This one? I think I'm gonna use a bigger pyrex. Cause I only probably if you know, I'm gonna want to use a bigger pyrex and then Jesus God Almighty Rowan. We have a do. Or we can we can we can do two. We can do a pyrex here. And a little Pyrex here. What a thing, guys. Can't have a little Pyrex. So, it don't look so bad. Come on, I want to use a little bit of beef. Come here, go away. You're leaving the country. Can't be, we can't be for my mother. Can't be for her. Alright, so see we are now. So, I'm going to take some of my beef. 
right out of the pot and I'm just gonna put it on the bottom just gonna swirl it around here the sausage and everything so it doesn't stick yeah I even already put non-stick on it but still you know yeah man this is not bad let me know what the pot's here so the pot I'm already so I'm gonna go off let me know how it's on my head all right now the part where it gets very tricky is this snow I don't know I'm already all right, turn so that two panel down. And if said panel, they must overlap. And that's it, not the box, eh? The box, eh? La 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 la. It said, please do not overlap or touch the side of the pan. And then we're gonna be long way, eh? No. I'm not gonna wear it. That, oh, so let me break it. You have to turn your hand make fashion, yeah? All right, now, so see we are now. We're put in one. So we are showing you what um, I know we shouldn't do that first. We should have spread out the sour cream first. Jesus, Rowan. Be in a focus. I'm just can't work with you. Just spread out the sour first. Let's see if I can use this and spread it out. Jesus! That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Sometimes if you just turn your hand make fashion, you know, just murder! I think the sausage was a really good idea. I just really hope that I had somebody tied out in time and I had like a utensil. Oh, oven is ready. And I had like a utensil to like mush it out. I mean, no one ever tell me what utensil maybe me ever use in the comments because all I know is chef. All I know is S H E F chef. Remember? Because when in a ramp for class, they can tell me, so, Roman, you should have it this way, you should have it that way, you should have it this way. Remember? Alright, now next layer. Oh! I'm kind of excited, guys. I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited, though. I honestly thought this would have gone a different way. Hello, set properly now. I honestly thought this would have been more tragic. I said, my mince don't look bad, though. My mince never come out bad. Come on, guys, talk to me. My mince never come out bad at all. So, yeah. Alright. Cheese! Cheese! And the oven ready, you know? The oven is so ready for me. I'm gonna call lasagna and I look too bad, guys. I'm gonna give him my props. I did feel a little bit insecure about it. I'm not gonna tell him no lie. Because I've never done it before. It's not... It's not my usual area of expertise. Should I do one last layer? I can do one last layer. Oh, this at the top. Right, so I'm gonna start with the cheese. Guys, I will look and talk to me. Talk to me. I want them to clear them sit properly underneath. Anyways, let's put it in the oven. We're gonna set that to 30 35 minutes. Let's set the timing, y'all. Oh, sh 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 file paper, Rowan. File paper. I'm gonna take out the file paper and make it broil. I don't know how to get the file paper because I can't tell you how much time to now come on my yard and come use my oven for a while. Alright guys, so that is going to bake for 35 minutes. Timer on the clock. I'll we'll catch you in the back for when it's a broil. I'm going to feel a little bad though guys. Talk to me in the comments. How oh, many have so far? Tell me Rowan, a rubbish you do. Or tell me Rowan, you're gone. You're gone. Y'all hear that sound, right? It means that the lasagna is almost done. So it did its 35 minutes. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna look at it, see what's going on. And my area, my area, dirty oven, my area. We're coming. Cancel man, okay, you're not even done. Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, Let's take this off. Bad. Come here with you. Talk to me. Man, I want so bad. Man, I want so bad. Look. Look for my lasagna. <laughs> Man, I want bad. I'm proud of my little self. Alright, so we're gonna set it to broil now. 15 minutes. No one bad, guys. Talk to me. 
the mighty name of Jesus. Wow. And the oven ready. Something um kinda got out for chew. It's awful. Alright guys, we're gonna make it trial. No 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 me no. Start coming back in a 15 minutes. So the circle of the kitchen. Circle the kitchen. The chef said, circle about the kitchen in a 15. Okay, um, I'm sure there are a lot of you in the comments who are just like, Rowan, what do you mean you're going to broil for 15 minutes? Because that's what the box said. Remove foil and bake. Oh, oh, it said bake for an additional five to 10 minutes uncover, not broil. Oh my God. Anyways, um, it only broiled for 10 minutes. Um, so, the top is a little crispy. Just a little. Just, come on, it's not that bad, right? It's not so bad, it's it not so bad. Don't look on it now, wait till it's cool. I'ma slice it, I'ma eat it. Yeah, right, guys? It's not bad. At least the mingle's soft, I'm just the top kind of crispy. See, soft, I can punch holes through. It's, it's not bad. I'm just gonna consider telling myself it's not bad. So I'm gonna let it cool for like a 10 minutes and then we're gonna cut into it and taste. Don't watch the top people, don't watch the don't just, don't just Don't look at the top! The time has come um, for us to dive into the situation right here. So, um, I don't know if it's fully cool as yet, but and I'll take a corner. I think I'll take a corner piece. Wow, it's a little, okay. It's a little crispy at the top. Just a little crispy at the top, y'all. Nothing to really, okay, it's, oh, never mind. I'm just a top a little bit crispy, guys. All right. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Period. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who is dear? How are we looking, y'all? In the, in the bottom. It's not 24 by 24. One of them was an 8 by something. Okay, that's I'm a like an 8 by 10. That's no, none of them are mine. It's not in the diet. So, on your leave, so why we can't get it? You can come and collect more if it tastes good. Someone said it tastes good to you. Someone said it tastes good to you. Why would it not taste good? Yes, you're not one fish no more. I'm screaming. Look, what, Ron, look <laughs> No. <laughs> look at me. Jano. It smells like fish with a churro. But it smells like lasagna. But it smells like lasagna? Yeah. Okay. Let me, let me try the top first. This is the top. Put the oregano in there? Uh huh. Oh, okay. You taste it? Mm hmm. How is it? Try the lasagna now. Oh, the bad dog is a nice touch. Pure 
period. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Y'all heard that? Okay. Okay, and it doesn't make no sense not because you're my yeah, friend. So they walked through tonight, we talked about this. And I told them, I said, tonight, you know, it's 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 tell me I wanted to stuff. You understand? Just so I could get like the full consensus. Yeah. Because I'm the mac and cheese queen. Right. Mm -hmm. This is a mac and cheese queen for true. I'm not going to take it from her. Mac and cheese. I so out of 10, because I gave it an 8 and a half. For first try, it's a 10. For first attempt, 10. Okay. But for the flavor, it's an 8 and a half, 8. Okay. Can I use a more cream, um, sour cream? Where is it? It did it. I, sp I spread it thinly though. I was supposed to use a lot. It's not a lot, but we could have guess a little more. Oh. I'm gonna try the sour cream part. Okay. You need the cheese be between every layer. I'm gonna watch the video. Yeah, the cheese between every layer. Lots of cheese. I just say, for me, one, the one and a half is because the crust a little bit, you know? Yeah. But the yeah. meagle, fine. I really like the bad dog in there though. Anga. It's a nice little surprise. Awesome. So 10 out of 10 for my first time. But eight and a half for the taste. Yeah, it's not crumble. It's still set. Period. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I had to bring it to people because I know y'all would have dogged me by how it looked on the top and say, "Oh, Rowan, rated say blah 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 blah." So I had to bring it to people. I'm gonna find somebody else so they can see some banana and allow me to tell Pama on. My aunt not bad in the kitchen. Me can you know do a couple stuffs. Yeah. Thank you. Well, if you want more, you can come to the house. Taste Thank it? you. Is, yeah. Is it lasagna? It is. I made it boil, boil a little bit too long because I was on the phone with Tanoya. Um, okay. So the top is a little bit, you know, yeah. So. I'm screaming. Got it. Taste it really quickly. It's excellent, Mr. Perry. Thank you. I It's my first time. So a 10 from you and an 8 from Chloe. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this experiment. <laughs> so, there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If there's anything else you would like for me to cook, leave it in the comments below, okay? I kinda love doing these for y'all, so don't have any high expectations that you'll be seeing like a billion more of these for the rest of the year. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this week's video. Be sure to head to my vlog channel if you haven't already and check out the two new vlogs over there from the Mexico trip. And of course, engage, interact with any content you see from me from that trip on social media. So follow me at Quiet Perry everywhere. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Keep up with me. But until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!